Welcome back to Send Crypto. In today's content, we're going to talk about BTC long term trend line, and then uh, we're also going to compare it to our uh, basically 2018. Uh, uh, and uh, compare the 2018 and 2013 uh, bear market, right? So we're gonna start off with the uh, 2013 bear market. As you can see on the screen, like guys, uh, we got a nice parallel channel. Uh, basically, BC been respecting like a uh, since, uh, uh, you know, not since, but respected during the uh, 2013 bear market. Uh, the top of uh, the top was like. Uh, 1170 in that range and bottom was like a 150 roughly right and you can see the parallel line was basically very uh, very accurate and as soon as we bottom just about like a you know just about 150 and broke this trend line came back retested uh basically we started the bull run right so another confirmation of uh this bear market like uh, back in 20 2013 was like uh, the crossover between the 21 ema and then uh the uh, 100 ema on the four days or whatever you want to use whichever you want to use four day or three days chart uh was like a you know very strong okay very strong capitulation all the way down to the bottom of this uh trend line which was like a uh, uh right around 150 right i just said 150 so it is another confirmation we just got back in 2013 uh just about the 6k area we noticed like uh when after we got the crossover on the four days chart right we basically capitulated at you know uh, right around 3k but we could not say like a 3k was a bottom just because we only had like a one point right we got one and two we got one point at 2000 20 000, and one point at a uh, basically a, you know 3000 so we could not get a, a parallel channel but right now we got two you know a strong uh, area of resistance uh, the first one going to be uh, the first one is a uh, basically 20k the second one uh you know uh, 14k so we can draw a, a parallel channel so if you draw this parallel channel with a uh, best uh support line at 3k we could be you know speculatively anticipate like a uh, a nice support in this area so we talk about this area of uh roughly the lowest i'm expecting is like a uh, based on this trend line it's like a 1600 right but previously we made like several videos uh talking about like a 1700 right which is a uh, basically still in this range okay when you when you take a look at the uh, the trend line right S uh, resistance and support but does it mean uh we're going to be dropping all the way down to uh, uh 1600 i don't think we're going to be uh, speculatively i don't think we're going to be dropping all the way down to uh, 1700 we could okay we could possibly retest this uh, upper level of this uh, trend line but uh, one one uh, one uh, uh one possible uh not one possible but the thing with uh going back up to like a uh, retest like 11 or 12k is like if we retest like 11 and 12k we could be violating uh what we did back in 2013 right in 2013 we only retested the trend line once okay uh you could say th third time right you could say third time but wasn't very uh a very impulse wave uh, like a 2x 3x move to the upside right and and uh, on top of that we're making another another crossover and this crossover could be sending the price all the way down to like a you know mid 5k to 5k area range it all depends on volume and volatility right it is hard to very say it is hard to say like if you're gonna break 5500 but when you take a look at the uh when you take a look at this crossover we basically we basically anticipating a very very aggressive move to the downside okay this how aggressive the move going to be that's a big question but if like we get a support from a 5500 to 5k area range we're going to reassess our judgment and see like if bc can find a support right in this area of a uh, in this uh basically this basically the middle of the you know parallel channel and then uh, find another, uh, you know, basically rejection right around this area of uh, 11 or whatever, uh, 12K, whichever, uh, whichever, basically, uh, uh, not whichever, but like, because uh, uh, it, it all depends how fast BTC is going to be going. So we cannot just say like, oh, we're going to be retesting like uh, after the, uh, the support line, we're going to be retesting like uh, 11K or 12k it all depends how fast we go okay but my expectation is like 11.5 but it all depends how fast we go if we drop down to like a 5500 5400 range 
and uh, try to retest like uh, you know 11.5 by March we can even go all the way up to 12k if like we're gonna retest this upper level of this trend line by March right but if you have to wait all the way up to like a May uh, June July August stuff like that it's gonna be roughly around like a 10.8 okay so it all depends if we want to replicate what we did back in uh, uh, 2013 this trend line could be uh, could be giving us a uh, strong strong evidence like uh, uh, we're still in a bear market and then uh, we could possibly uh, uh, be facing lower numbers right but of course it is just speculative uh, I don't know what the price is going to do uh, and uh, uh, but we uh, uh, we got like a strong evidence it's like uh, we could be facing at least for the short term a temporary support right around like a 5500 rank to 5k area if we break it of course we just have to wait like for another possibly uh, uh, two years or so to uh, find another support right around this area of the uh, the bottom of the trend line all right guys so that's all i wanted to cover today hopefully you guys find the content useful if you do make sure to hit the likes and make sure to join our public telegram group uh, we got our premium member also if you want to upgrade to our premium member for daily analysis price target price setup uh, you make sure to send me a private uh, message and i'm going to send you the description to uh, join our uh, premium member right all right guys thanks a lot for watching